Today, we're having a look at the media source. Now, in simple terms, the media source is a simpler version of the VLC video source. Now, the VLC video source, of course, has the VLC engine running behind it. The media source is a very, very simple version of that. So we can add here and media source. We'll call this, of course, tutorial, which I can never type, of course, correctly. Happens. We can choose local files here. There's nothing online, no URLs. It's one local file, and it could be either a video, so I'll choose this promo, or an image. So I should be able to choose an image as well if I go to overlay and backgrounds. Actually, no, it doesn't allow that. That's good. It allows any music, though, any music or any video files. No images. So if I want to add anything, I can cancel here, and it will leave us on the promo here. I can decide if I want to loop. Restart playback when source becomes active. So every time I go into it, it becomes active. That could be useful if you're running, say, a trailer during a show or if you're running adverts during a show. This is mainly what we use it for. We'll have one single file with all our adverts in and we'll play it. And you can use hardware decoding as well if it's available. Show nothing when playback ends. It means it just stops it there, which could be useful. And close file when inactive is very useful as well for something like this because the source won't be active. OBS, as you can see, sometimes brings up uh, help in specific cases, and you can see that in this case. You can alter the speed, and you can change the color range. You could leave that as automatic, and OBS will pick up what you have, what the file actually specifies when it was uh, rendered. So we'll press OK, and we have our media source there, which is not playing, we can't see it. So we'll swipe for it to become active, and of course, there's the resolution of it, because it's lower resolution than our canvas and what we can do is edit it there swipe and there we have it that's how media source works i had to cut it short because i made a mistake and the music started playing straight away so now i muted the media source so you can't listen to it and when i swipe into it it becomes active and it's muted right here i can lower the volume and you can hear there's some music playing and the stream playing in the background i muted it again and as you can see it's there you can do anything you want with it you can resize you can move it around anything you would with any source you can do and that's pretty much what happens in the media source and it stops because it's marked to stop when it stops so when i start it again it just starts over again and I stop and I start it just starts over again and that's how the media source works the media source is quite a simple source but very useful nevertheless if you've liked this video or found any of the information helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any queries please leave them in the comment section or find me live on twitch and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the next video we'll be looking at the scene source. Take care.